Hi everyone, this video is an in-depth review of the Bose HomeSpeaker 500. I have done another review with an in-depth comparison between the HomeSpeaker 500, 300 and the SoundTouch 20, for which I have included a link in the description below. Before I jump into the details, let me just lay out the summary. How much does it cost? Uh, it costs about £279 or $299. I have included links in the description below in case you want to buy or check the latest price. Uh, things I like about the speaker, uh, it's eco-friendly anodized aluminium body with minimal design. The amount of bass it can produce uh, for its size, uh, loudness and clarity even at higher volumes is really good. Uh, things I don't like about the speaker, uh, the LCD screen on the front looks washed out and is low resolution. Uh, for someone with a keen ear, mids can be slightly muddy at times, and there is no way to mute or unmute the voice assistant microphone from the app. And that's the summary, but I would suggest that you uh, stick around till the end of this review to get an in-depth understanding of the summary, including features, a deep dive into the sound signature of the speaker along with an audio test graph, audio sample, and so on. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you are new here, please subscribe for future videos. And as always, if you like the video, please leave me a comment or a like. In this review, I will be looking at what is included in the box, uh, build and design, setup, app and features, sound signature, sound quality sample, and how to do a factory reset, and then wrap it up with a conclusion. Uh, I have included video timestamps to help you jump between sections if needed. Let's start this review by looking at what we get inside the box. In the box, we have the home speaker 500, the main cable, and the owner's guide and the manual. Next up, built in design. The home speaker 500 seems to be well built with an anodized aluminum body and matte finish. There is a full color LCD screen in front with an animating LED bar right above the screen. Uh, on the top side, the speakers, we have the touch button, which allows the user to control the speaker. And these controls include volume control, a play and pause button, voice assistant button, mute button for muting the microphone. Uh, this button uh, lights up red when the microphone is muted. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot unmute uh, this from the app. Uh, button for changing the input to aux and Bluetooth, uh, six preset buttons which allow you to set playlist or uh, digital radio channels as presets. There is an aux port at the back on the, of the speaker, uh, right above the main supply connector. This allows you to use this speaker with a 3.5 mm audio input cable. In terms of the audio driver setup, Bose has done a good job in order to extract maximum performance from the two full range drivers. These drivers are side firing. The backside of these drivers form an inverted U-shaped uh, bass reflex system with a bass port outputting the bass and the displaced air on the right hand side of this unit. The, this basically creates a reflecting audio output. So in terms of the placement of the speaker, it's best placed in an area which is quite open and is not blocked on the sides. For example, the speaker ideally should not be placed on a tight bookshelf or in a tight corner. The speaker is currently available in black and silver colors. The body is really smooth to touch with a feel of premium to it. It weighs in at about 2.2 kilos, uh, which makes it heavy enough to not fall over or rattle, and yet light enough in case you would like to lift and move it to a different location. The speaker is quite compact in size, 
measuring about 20 centimeters in height, 17 centimeters in width, and 11 centimeters in depth. Uh, for reference, you can see how it compares to a can of soda and a bottle of whiskey in terms of size. The screen in the front of the speaker is a bit disappointing and looks quite faded due to the poor contrast ratio. I believe Bose should have used a bit better quality display uh, with slightly higher resolution accompanied with an OLED display. Uh, not necessarily a deal breaker, but I strongly believe if you do something, do it right or not do it at all. Uh, next up, speaker setup. The setup is quite straightforward. Download the Bose Music app from uh, App Store or Play Store for uh, Android or iOS. Uh, sign into the app using your existing Bose ID uh, or sign up a new one. Uh, once logged in, uh, plug the speaker into the mains and it will power on. Press the plus button on the app uh, to add a new speaker. Follow the on-screen steps to connect the, wi the Wi-Fi in your home and you will be good to go. One really good thing about the built-in Wi-Fi is that it is compatible with both 5 and 2.4 gigahertz bands. So basically, if you if either one of your bands uh, on, on your home network um, have heavy noise, which is usually the case for 2.4 gigahertz band, the speaker will connect to 5 gigahertz to avoid any connectivity issues. Lastly, the built-in Wi-Fi is quite good and in my house it is able to pick up the Wi-Fi signal even though the speaker is placed on a floor above from where the router is located. Uh, next up, Bose Music App. The Bose Music App allows you to manage and control the home speaker wirelessly as long as your phone and speaker are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. From the app, you can add or remove Bose products uh, add or remove music services such as Spotify, Amazon Music, Deezer, and so on. Uh, you can tune the audio by adjusting bass and treble, um, and that's like 10 levels up and 10 levels down. Uh, change the source of the music to aux or Bluetooth. Play music from added services such as Spotify. Uh, group this speaker with other both speakers, including the previous generation sound touch range. Access advanced device settings such as change language, uh, sharing options, that is in case you want to make the speaker available to everyone on the home network or just yourself. Auto dimming of the display, turn on or off the clock for the speaker uh, when it's on standby. Uh, and or remove voice assistants such as Google and Amazon. Uh, view technical information about the unit such as the Wi-Fi signal strength, uh, connection status, firmware, uh, serial number, and so on. Lastly, for all you privacy-minded people, you can also change the privacy preferences to stop sending analytics data to Bose. Uh, one thing to note, I won't be covering the voice assistants uh, in this review as I don't use them uh, due to privacy reasons. The Home Speaker 500 allows you to play music wirelessly directly from various uh, music services, Bluetooth, uh, AirPlay, and through a wide connection using a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. One thing to note, if you if you have added the music service for, for example, like Spotify to Bose Music app, then when playing music directly from the Spotify app, you can control it wirelessly even if you are not connected to the local Wi-Fi network. For example, if you were at work, you could play music on your home speaker through the internet. Not really sure what the what might be the use case for this one, uh, but I thought I'll just uh, let you know. AirPlay is limited to Apple devices and has a considerable amount of 
uh, lag. So if you want to stream audio for video playback, then you will be better off using aux or Bluetooth connection rather than using AirPlay. Uh, next up is the sound signature. The quality of sound and what it sounds like changes based on who's listening. To put it simply, sound can be quite perceptive to have a strong opinion on. Uh, that is why different people have very different opinion on audio and its quality. Every manufacturer out there tweaks the audio to match the kind of people it wants to target. Bose in the past has targeted more mature ears and has a certain level of lifestyle attached to it. And this is the reason why a sound signature has been uh, quite mature without any overpowering bass or treble. A well-rounded full sound, no matter the speaker size or type. This sound signature has been refined over years through research and testing. This is where Bose's tagline comes in from as well, which is better sound through research. That being said, with the launch of the home speaker series in mid 2018s, the trends of what is perceived as good audio quality, uh, people's preference for uh, audio and music in itself has changed. In order to keep up with these changes, Bose also changed its uh, original sound signature. Let's start by looking at the frequency response chart I got from testing various frequencies from low to highs at about 25% of the volume. The home speaker has thumpier bass along with brighter highs. This makes the lows and highs sound a bit more distinct to the mids. Uh, that being said, both highs and lows aren't overpowering and can be tuned further in the app. Uh, this is where I feel it is very important to call out if you are a long-term Bose user uh, with a keen ear, you might notice this change. The new sound signature isn't bad in any way, uh, just different. Uh, on the other hand, if you are a new Bose user, it's all good. Overall, the speaker is loud enough to fill a big room with a good level of loudness while maintaining its clarity. Uh, this is made possible with the use of dynamic equalizer, which, uh, which, changes, the, which changes the sound curve as the volume level changes. Uh, next up, the sound quality sample for the speaker. Please use your headphones to listen to the sample. I have recorded uh, this with a full range, high definition microphone, and the audio is not processed in any way.
Next up, how to reset the speaker to factory settings. Just in case uh, you're having issues with the speaker and need to reset the speaker, uh, all you need to do is press the volume down button and aux button together for 10 seconds and the speaker will reset. When pressing these two buttons uh, together, the LED bar lights up to show progress towards this uh, long press. Uh, after 10 seconds, just let the buttons go and the speaker will restart uh, ready to be set up again. All right, on to the conclusion now. Overall, the Bose Home Speaker 500 is good looking speaker with quality sound, great loudness and discreet enough to fit in any living room. Uh, the setup is straightforward and cherry on the top is that Bose has recently revised the speaker's uh, price. The speaker now costs less than £300, which is about £120 cheaper than its price at launch. With all these things in mind, Bose Home Speaker 500 would make a great addition to any home. Uh, if you would like to see a similar in-depth comparative review for the Bose Smart Home Speaker range, including the Home Speaker 500, 300 and Sound Dash 20, then either click the link on the screen or check the description below. Finally, thank you for uh, sticking around and watching the whole video. If you enjoyed this review, please check out my channel uh, for other videos and subscribe for future videos. Thanks. Bye.